Well, August is Women's Month, and to celebrate South Africa's key female leaders across all the sectors of the economy, the CEO magazine hosted its annual Most Influential Women in Business and Government Awards earlier this month. CNBC Africa's Talis Nehru spoke to the winner of the Manufacturing and Engineering category, Nadia Musaji, the co-founder of SA Women in Engineering, which she started in her third year of university in 2005. South Africa's Most Influential Women in Business and Government Awards is proudly brought to you by CEO Magazine, Vitz Business School, Mercita, Jaguar and Jenna Clifford. 2005, you're an undergraduate and I'm sure you're thinking there are far too many men here, where are all the women? And that's pretty much where your journey begins. We've been very fortunate. A lot of engineering companies have bought into the concept, sponsored us, so much so that every year we are able to attract the top female engineering students, fly them into Cape Town for a week-long conference. And um, we have these five pillars. And every day of the conference focuses on one of those pillars, including mentorship, igniting that engineering flame, meeting of the mind. And then something that is very, very, very important for us is just incubating that engineering mind. I mean, now we've got 70 of the brightest female engineers in this country. What are we going to do with them? We need some outputs. And so we give them a technical project. This year was actually upgrading informal settlements using green engineering. We took them into the townships and we said, this is the problem. And the day it was in Cape Town, it was the foulest weather. It was raining, it was muddy. And these women then from the townships took them around and said, these are the conditions. Mm -hmm. The girls got a shock and they said, you know what? How can anybody be living in those conditions? And we said, design something better. And so these girls then, in their groups, had a week with other activities, came up with solutions, basic solutions for sustainable development and helping those women in those townships. What excites me about you winning this award is that you're different, you're fresh-faced, you're young. Yeah. And um, it's, it's a sense of honoring a new generation of entrepreneurship and leadership. Okay. Tell me about your take on leadership in terms of women in engineering, uh, just your experience and, and your view on that. I think oh, leadership is something that is so pivotal. Um, you know, with the right leadership and the right direction, you can take anything anywhere. And I think for women in engineering, and we've learned every year I, as a leader, um, I actually feel somewhat ashamed to call myself a leader because I feel so young. But at the end of the day, it's not about the age of a leader. It's about the experience and the personal journey that leader has. And with Essa Humanj, we've had a phenomenal experience being a leader, working with people. And so the product that you have at the end in any project is not about how good your people are, but how good your leadership is. And so to fulfill any good role and to deliver any quality product at the end of the day, you need to have good leadership and a good understanding of people and also what makes people tick, you know, to make sure that, they, that you get the best of those people, to understand that they're not just machines, that they're not just computers, they're not your hardware. They have feelings, they're sensitive, they have emotions. And as engineers, we've often, because we're in such a male-dominated environment, you know, emotion isn't something that we should be thinking of. You know, it's, it's about the system, it's about, you know, the computer. But, you know, we are people that are running those systems. And as leaders, we need to take knowledge of that fact. We need to give people the appropriate response and time that they need to actually get the best out of our people. And so leadership, for me, is something that is phenomenally important. In okay, so you're co-founder of SA Women's, yes. and it's grown, as, as you've just spoken. It's, it's developed. Not only are you getting the, the youngest, brightest, most sassiest young female engineering minds, to converge in Cape Town every year to, to work on I interesting projects. You're also thinking ahead, or in fact, you're thinking backwards, so to speak. You're, you're actually targeting high school students. Tell me about that foray into encouraging high school students or high school girls to take up engineering as a career path. There was a, there's this huge problem actually getting girls to go and study engineering at high school level. And so this year was our pilot year where we launched Girl Eng. Uh, been, we've done it in five provinces. And what we've done is host these Girl Eng workshops. So we select top students in maths and science to come to these workshops. It's a day-long workshop. It's an activity on what is an engineer. Because these girls don't know what engineering is. The role models, and we take students not just from privileged schools, but we really go into underprivileged, the township schools and the rural schools. 
exposing these girls to what an engineer is has just been um, so phenomenally successful. These blurry eyed, you know, uh, very confused grade 10s, 11s, and 12s who think that, you know, the only options are commerce or, you know, medicine. And I was saying, you know, if you're good at maths and science, become an engineer. It's a wonderful career. And you can go into something that's medical related, that's commerce related. But with an engineering background, you've got your footstep into any career that you want to. South Africa's most influential women in business and government awards is proudly brought to you by CEO magazine, Vitz Business School, Mercita, Jaguar and Jenna Clifford. After the break, a final wrap of how the JSE closed with insights from global traders Neil Barnard. Don't go away. <laughs>